So today I decided to head down to the Retro Rocket. This is a game store that's not insanely far away from my house and I just found it not too long ago. I went to it a few weeks ago and there's still a few things I remember seeing there that I wanted to grab and I was kind of looking for a couple things as well. One thing I was trying to find is Prototype on PS3 and potentially Mirror's Edge on PS3. Honestly, they have quite a bit of stuff in here. Their glass cases are more expensive stuff and they, they just have like a lot of like lower end titles that I personally am looking for. I found some pretty cool stuff right out the gate i found a good price on the van helsing game i found this jackass game that i knew nothing about one game that i was actually looking forward to was prince of persia the two thorns this is a game that would finish off the sands of time trilogy for me on ps2 they just kind of had a lot to look through especially like with ps2 and ps3 stuff i found this castlevania lords of shadow a game i've always wanted to play for only 10 10.99 i think is what it was of course the camera didn't pick that up i also found out i guess apparently they made a chronicles of riddick game so that's kind of cool they also sell some movies back here in the back i did pick up one of those i'll talk about here in a little bit but yeah just kind of a cool store found some pretty neat stuff for a good price i did take some stuff with me to trade in in case i did find some stuff i was giving myself a budget of 20 bucks and i did take in most of what was in the box besides the center and kagras and the mario stuff and i didn't pay a single penny for anything i got all right we're back it's the next day and uh, we're going to be testing this stuff out and going over a little bit of the haul i'm going to go over the haul and then i'm going to do some testing afterwards my dog has his chicken uh i'm going to do some testing afterwards so i figure we'll tackle onto the testing i didn't pay a dime for any of these i went in i didn't want to spend more than 20 bucks i didn't pay anything i did a trade in and i got to uh, not trade in my two center and kagras and the two switch games which are uh, mario strikers and mario golf rush or whatever like that and so i got a nice little stack of stuff uh and didn't have to pay anything one thing i got the only movie was us they did have a little movie section and the movies were one dollar so i picked up us so i now have us uh, that apparently had walk the line in the case. I didn't open the case. I just, why didn't I check the case of this? Oh, that's pretty roached. The Blu-ray. I think it'll clean up though. I think it'll clean up for whatever reason. I didn't, I didn't check this. I just felt it. I guess walk the line full screen is in this too. I will set that aside. Next time I go down, I will tell them that was in the case. I didn't notice it. So I'll give that back to them next time I'm down. Picked up on PlayStation 1, Atlantis, The Lost Empire. This is the PS1 game. For Atlantis, the case is really tore up, but the disc is super clean. So kind of excited about that. I These jewel cases are a dime a dozen. Easy to replace. It had two stickers on it, one for 18, one for 12. They said that 12 was the uh, new price that the other sticker either came off another case or it was an old price. So I got it for 12. So I had this original stack first and he said I had like eight or nine dollars left uh, in trade in. So I went to go find something and I found two things I'm going to talk about right now because that's how they were stacked in here. I'm going to talk about two things and they were five bucks a piece and he said we'll just call it a deal and that was Darksiders 1 and 2. I've been wanting to try these games out at some point. Both cases are pretty gross. Um, um, I'm gonna have to replace them. These clear cases get really gross. So I don't know what it is about them, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to replace them at some point. But I figured $5 for both of these were a pretty good price and I can finally check them out at some point. I picked up the Chronicles of Riddick Assault on Dark Athena. I didn't even know this was a thing. I'm not sure if this can be a screen to console. I'll have to, I'll have to see. Uh, includes the remastered Escape from Butcher Bay campaign, the Chronicles, two Chronicles on one disc. Oh, so is there like a 2004 game for Chronicles that's on this? That's sick. I didn't even know that. I'll have to look into that. So yeah, Chronicles of Riddick. Uh, I thought that looked pretty cool. They did have one of the games I was there for, which was Prototype. Uh, prototype 1. I picked up Prototype 2 not too long ago for $5 as well. So I'm excited to play the Prototype games again. I played Prototype 1 back in the day around when it came out and I never got to play 2 and I never finished 1. So I would like to actually play through it and finish it. Uh, I really liked it. I just for whatever reason didn't finish it. I think I got a little sandbox burned out a little bit. Maybe that's why. But I figured for $5 it was really good. Really clean copy too. So I'm very happy about that. They did have Mirror's Edge but it was on Xbox. So I think originally I saw the Mirror's Edge on 360. I picked up Castlevania Lords of Shadow. <laughs> I picked up Castlevania Lords of Shadow. This is a game I've always wanted to try out, and it was $10.99, which is a really good deal, I think. <laughs> At least I've seen this game go for more other other places. 
it's not i mean i think this will clean up nicely i think the case will clean up nicely uh overall though excited to actually play this i've wanted to play both of these lords of shadow castlevanias quite a bit so excited about that now on to the ps2 stuff uh for screen to console i got helsing this is a game i've always wanted to play I, my original dvd copy of helsing came with a xbox demo of this game and i remember playing it and liking it uh this was a pretty clean copy of uh, Helsing case and everything so I'm very happy about that uh, Prince of Persia the two thorns so this is the I will now have the Sands of Time collection on PS2 I'm excited to check these out I've gotten every one of these games in the series for really really cheap he had his listed at $7.99 I got the other two games for like $3 a piece so pretty inexpensive trilogy and excited to play them I've always wanted to play Prince of Persia and the last thing I picked up was Jackass the game uh, this is a game I just found out about not too long ago and they had it it was $17.99 which is a pretty good deal for the game but this is the only game so far that I picked up that I'm a little worried about it not working because there are some pretty gnarly scratches on the back of this so we'll see if it loads up here in a second it'd be cool if it does but I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't. But if it doesn't, I'll take it to get it resurfaced and then hopefully it will be up and running. So yeah, that's the haul. Let's test out some games. All right, so it's booting up. That's a good point. We are testing Atlantis, the Lost Empire first, seeing how this one goes, testing it on the PS3. I play all my PS1 games on PS3 as opposed to PS2. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one. This is not a good sign that we haven't moved past this screen yet. The disc of this is really clean too, so that's not a good sign. Okay, it looks like we're in business. Maybe it just had a smudge on it. I didn't see anything, but maybe. Who knows? Now, I will be, when i testing stuff, I will be skipping cutscenes because I don't want to be spoiled on anything. All right, let's see what this game's got going on for it. Self. We're going to just start game. See what kind of, you know. I want to skip the, especially the, the FNV cutscenes. I love the Atlantis games. I've covered, uh, not the Atlantis games, the Atlantis movie. I've covered it on the channel on 31 for 31 so yeah get this a nice little replace, replacement case and it's gonna be a nice little thing it's gonna be a nice little thing to have i like uh on the back of it says disney style gameplay i'm sure you can't see it on that little screen disney style gameplay four unique vehicles disney style gameplay six playable characters dive into 12 huge worlds deep below the earth's surface dwells mystery beyond your wildest dreams deeper lies an ancient undiscovered island uh, undiscovered land deeper still the keys to unlock uh-oh. Did we freeze up again? Uh-oh. Uh, worst case is, like I said, it's a pretty clean-looking disc. So worst case is, I'll just take it with me to uh, a Play It Trader or whatever like that and get it resurfaced. I mean, it's not that big a deal. It's $3 to get a disc resurfaced there. So like, it's not the biggest deal if that's the case. I'm not too worried about it. Yeah. Womp womp. I think Atlantis, we're going to have to get resurfaced. Uh, we'll take that to Play It Trade It next time I go up. And get that tested out. Castlevania is loading right in, it looks like. That's good. This was a game I remember playing the demo to and being like, oh man, I really want this. And I just didn't get it for whatever reason. Software update. All right. Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Let's see what this is like. Oh. I loved hack and slash games on the PS3. God of War, Dante's Inferno. What else was there? This, I guess. I didn't play this, though. I have to keep an eye out for the sequel, too. Because I, I have a strong feeling I'm going to really like these games. So because of that, like, if I find the sequel for a good price, I'm just going to go ahead and get it. Rewards. Get these daggers before they vanish. Throw daggers by pressing zero. Sure. No, I'm not going to play too much. I like to play just a little bit to just... That just instantly obliterated that guy. Just... Just... <laughs> Uh, I just want to play a little bit of it to test to make sure that it, uh, also I realize my volume might be a little loud. When I get on Discord, I have to crank the volume up. So I realize that it might have been a little loud here. Um, I had to make sure that it was actually recording over here too. It also might be worth noting that this might be a little loud. I didn't do the, the testing of the audio mixing <laughs> before doing this, which is probably my fault. I'm probably just going to play to get past this little, like, um, grab the enemy with art was R2. Oh, that's cool.
Okay, I was wondering if there's like a skill tree or something you unlock after a while. When you kill an enemy, you gain experience points. Some enemies collect... Uh, some enemies now to collect... Kill some enemies now, collect 25. Alright, I think this is probably about to where our stopping point is. I imagine this is like a mini boss. Yes, it is. I don't want to be spoiled on the cutscenes. I watched too much of that one and I was realizing that I'm just getting into this. Get f Oh yeah, this game's going to be sick. To actually like sit down and play, this game's going to be so much fun, dude. Oh, I didn't realize he had a health bar over there in the corner. Like, can I just tanky him? Kinda. Alright. I'm just gonna sit here and play this. This game's sweet. I can't wait to actually play this. All right, now we're testing Prototype, which seemed to boot up. I didn't check the back of this disc to see if any had wiped off, but it loaded right in, so. Anything that's Blu-ray disc is pretty, is pretty much, I don't really check the discs that much. They're pretty easy to just be like, yeah, they're probably gonna work. Uh, I probably should just in case we get one that's really f***ed up, but like I said, it's been a long time since I played the original Prototype. I tested out two the other day when I picked it up and I was like, yeah, I need to go pick one up. These guys, we gotta kill. Yeah, apparently we can just kill randos, too. Get out of here, dude. Oh, okay, there's the arrow. I'm like, I know this is an open world game, so I'm not entirely sure, like, where I'm necessarily supposed to be going. This actually plays, this game plays a lot like, I don't know if anybody else played the X-Men Origins Wolverine. I thought, there, I thought there was a way to, like, toggle. Okay. I thought there was a way to, like, toggle into, uh... The military dudes like see how i can like lock onto them i thought there was a way to like slingshot yourself over to them yeah this game's sweet i forgot how cool this game was i don't know why i never finished it it had to have been because i think i played this right after like playing one of the infamous games and i was just like eh, it's just more of the same thing because it's basically like more hardcore infamous <laughs> in a way you know Okay, I don't know what happened there. I don't know why I launched all the way over here. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why I didn't finish this game. It had to have just been because of that. Oh my god, what the hell? Why am I, like, just launching all over the place? But, alright. We've played enough of this one. This one's cool. This is another one I, I could probably spend most of the afternoon playing, so... All right, we're loading in the Chronicles of Riddick. On the front, it does say the uh, includes the remastered 2004 uh, classic Escape from Butcher Bay. So, yeah, I'll have to look into that, too. So, we might have got two Riddick games for the price of one. Oh, shit, I forgot. Hold on. That's a game I should get at some point. That'd be a cool screen to console. Wanted. The Wanted game. I totally forgot about that. I always wanted to play that. This come out when there's only two Riddick movies? Really? Pitch Black and the Chronicles of Riddick? I think there's like four or five of them now, ain't there? There's a few of them. I didn't even know this existed. Like, this was like, I, I saw it there, and I was just like, I didn't know there was a Chronicles Riddick game. One thing I like to do is I like to look on how long to beat and see about how long these games will take. So it looks like this one is nine hours. It looks like the other one's eight hours. But yeah, they're both here. That's sick. That is super cool. Well, let's try Escape first. I don't know if these games are any good, but it's sweet they're both on here this can be a screen to console because it's it, it it's a game that's based on a movie right it doesn't have to be the exact movie tie-in it has to be based on a movie right i don't know it's my show i'll make up my own rules right <laughs> walk up to character and press to initiate dialogue hey don't fucking move oh shit we gotta you haven't collected on me yet johns i think that's actually vin you diesel move when i say i just wanted to look around Riddick. So you go behind Johns and grab him by pressing L2 to silently break his neck. DNA protection. Elite learns the hard way. We should get moving. Riddick, down here. Pack of smokes. Extra content unlocked. Butcher Bay. Inmate on the run. Okay. Huh. I found that out on my own. Uh, 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 uh. Get f now what? <laughs> oh wait.
I like Vin Diesel's just in a f wife beater, just hanging out in a intergalactic prison. Like, yo, dog, family, you know. Okay, let him notice. Oh no, stealth. Oh no, stealth. Oh no, they found the dead body. Oh no, goodness gracious. All right, we tested this one out. Let's go back. We'll test out the other game. <laughs> Not a big fan of stealth stuff. So maybe it's one of those ones that opens up the further you go into it. But I was wanting some more like, we start blasting, you know, start blasting all these aliens. That's what I was kind of like hoping for. I will say this in terms of PlayStation. I love the, this like PlayStation spine way more than this design. Find a way to get off the beach. I did it. I'm off the beach. The red light on the door indicates it's locked. Green light indicates it's unlocked. That, my friends, is one locked door. I can't see shit. Oh, I shine? Okay. I can see shit. Wait a minute. That's where I came from. Don't kill me, please. Oh, wait. Did you say not to kill you? Ooh, I misheard that. Rick, Rick looks so goofy. I'm sorry. He just does. What's this? Bounty card. Fuck it! Who you calling a f kid? F kid. All right, I think we got enough of this. Let's uh, let's. It it's gonna be okay. I might actually have this game downloaded when PlayStation Plus was doing it for free. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Also, Darksiders 2, I know there's a version of it on PS4, but when it's $5, why not? You know, why not get it on the original console? I think it was the original console it came out on. All right, baby, we are here. Now, this is like very similar to God of War and stuff. I noticed like a lot of the games I picked up today are very similar. Like God of War, Castlevania, um, <laughs> Darksiders. To an extent, prototype, you could probably say. So I like the art design in this game. There's just a couple games from this like era of PS3 that I remember playing the demos too, because the cool thing, I've always been a demo whore. I've always liked demo, like game demos. I've always liked video game demos. Uh, I collect, I literally collect the jam pack games. What butt is like dodge or roll? Do I not have one? Oh, sh he like blew up at the end. Now well, we got our health back. But yeah, there's like some games from this genre or era of PlayStation. For whatever reason, I just didn't buy, even though I like the demos. Like I collect the jam pack demo discs. My goal in terms of collection is to eventually have, I know that had to clip, because it clipped in my ear in person. There are just games in this era that I was just like, I was playing the demos or I was like, I could finish a thought, which I'm really bad at when I play games. I try to collect all the jam pack demo discs. So I love those. I love I love game demos. I think it's an awesome way to like advertise your game, you know. But I really, really enjoy playing through demos and stuff to test games out and to see if I would want it. And there was a lot in the PS3 that I played the demo to, and I was like, yeah, I would like this, and then just never bought it. And actually, that's what most of today's pile is in terms of PS3 games. Now, Darksiders 2, I never played the demo to which we're gonna jump into right now. Darksiders 2, I never played the demo to, but Darksiders 1, I did. And Darksiders 1, I've always wanted to get this game. So I'm glad I finally have it. But yeah, like Castlevania, Darksiders, Dark I said, Darksiders 2, never played the demo to, but like Darksiders, uh, Castlevania, I've always wanted to get. And so now to have them, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with uh, today's purchases. It just freaked out. It's like, Phew. it's like that Chick-fil-A girl. You don't wanna upgrade? All right, let, this is the final PS3 game. And then we have some PS2 stuff to test. We're on a horse. I like how when you do like the lock on it, kind of adds like a litter boxing to it. It's kind of cool. Like I said, I like the art of the Darksider games a lot. It might be, I don't know what that noise was. It might be a minute before I actually get to these just because these games are so long, but I am excited to actually play them. Insta death. I can't even beat the tutorial. Sha sha sha. R1. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing these at some point. Kind of the old school hack and slash kind of games. I love these kind of games. I have a bunch of them. They drop like weapons and stuff. That's interesting. They're like like small like RPG elements to this. Oh my god, there's a lot going on here. Yeah, these these are gonna be fun games to explore. All right, so it's 
PS2 time, we are going to test Jackass first. Because Jackass is the one that I'm most uh, concerned about when it comes to disc quality. So let's see if it works. Sweet, it's loading in. I'm happy it's working, though. I don't want to know anything that's going on in the story. So I hear you're taking over the new season. I hope this game is fun. Uh, this is just seems so weird. There's also a Pimp My Ride game. Super turned down the music. Also, I realized, too, that the, the hodgepodge was super loud there. This game's going to be sweet, ain't it? This is going to be a game I'm just going to want to play. Oh, damn. Okay, we got kind of an idea what's going on here. This is going to be sweet. Is it just a bunch of jackass minigames? Because that's the case. That is awesome. <laughs> you just go flying over the side. This is going to be such a sweet game. Oh, my God. I, this game's going to be so much fun, dude. All right, let's go. Oh, like, I can't wait to actually sit down and play this. This is going to be sweet. I wasn't expecting this to be, like, the game of the whole... No, no, stop, stop! Yes! Look at that, right on the edge, baby. All right, let's go. I was not expecting this to be the uh, the game of the whole... Like, I just saw this and was like, Oh, God, they had the Jackass game? Damn it, I stopped way too early. All right, we've tested the Jackass game. I'm super excited about this one. All right, I didn't realize we weren't filming or recording but uh, i tried prince of persia two thorns is what we're testing out next and it did not load in so it did this it loaded in this far and then nothing from here it's just black screen i did a little bit of wiping down so hopefully it will load in now all right we got farther than we did last time maybe just had a smudge couldn't read it uh, i was talking about the jackass game i was worried that that one wasn't going to work i was really concerned about it because it was the most tore up most scratched up uh-oh I don't think our Prince of Persia to the two thorns is going to work. It does have some scratches. I will say that it does have some scratches. Well, I will take it to get resurfaced. But yeah, we looks like Van Helsing's working. So looks like we are out of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine out of the nine games. Looks like we are seven for two. Which is fairly good. I did ask the Retro Rocket if they had a resurfacer, and he said he don't currently have a resurfacer, resurfacing machine. He did mention something like if they don't work or whatever like that, he'll work with me. But I, like, like other than, you can't do a resurface on Blu-ray discs. So, like, you know, the PS1, PS2 stuff, if they don't work, I'll get them, I'll go get them to resurface. It's not a big deal. You know what I mean? Especially if I get a good price on them. I actually can't wait to do the screen to console for this one. I've always wanted to play this game, but I've been wanting to revisit Van Helsing for a long time. I've not seen it since I was a kid. Oh god, the camera in this is, is terrible. I hate the camera. Can I just control the camera? <laughs> this camera's got to take some time to get used to, that's for sure. I wonder what these little crosses are for, these little green crosses. I have no idea. <laughs> this game. All right, all right. We've we've tried it up for this. We've tried it. Let's let's see if Atlantis will work on the PS2. All right, folks. Atlantis on PS2. Let's see if it works. Like I said, this disc is clean. I'm so surprised it didn't work on the PS3. Normally, see, wow, well, load right in. Normally, it's the other way. Like if it won't read on PS2 very well, normally the PS3 will read it right away. It's not a good sign because I didn't get the noise at all of the. Uh-oh. Yep, no dice on Alanis. Womp womp. So anyway, that's been my haul from the Retro Rockets. Uh, I like it. I like the game store. I think it's pretty cool. I picked up pretty much about everything that I would probably like want from the store. They had a few other titles that you know I was kind of interested in, but for the most part, I pretty much came home with everything they had that I wanted, and I didn't pay a dime for it because of trade-in. I do have a couple things I'm going to have to get resurfaced. Uh, I think that just kind of comes with the territory with retro video games, especially if the, if the business doesn't have a resurfacer. To me, me, me personally, like if you're going to deal in this, 
this retro stuff, a resurfacer is probably necessary. Outside of that, like I understand that, you know, if you don't currently have one, you're building toward one or something like that. That's fine. You know what I mean? I, I per perfectly understand that. However, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm content with my haul from them. I would go back to the store. I like the store. It's in Wellston. If you want to check it out yourself, the dude seemed really nice who was running it. And yeah, I, I had a pretty good trip. I enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed the content as well. I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye, everybody. Yeah.